everybody, welcome back to the Medical Projects YouTube channel. If you're new around here, my name is Olivia and I'm a second year medical student at King's College London. And here on this YouTube channel, we create videos dedicated to trying to help you secure your dream spot at medical school. And I offer you all of my best tips and bits of advice and give you an insight into what medical school is really like. So if you do like the sound of that, do make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we post. And also go and follow us on all of our social media links. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers so do try and spread the word because we have so many exciting things planned for you over the summer and we're going to be creating so much useful content to ensure that you get your spot at medical school. The sun is also doing the most today to create crazy lighting so I do apologise about that. So if you're new to the medical school application process and you're not really sure what it entails, work experience is a really significant part of your application and is something that you write about at length in your personal statement and talk about in your interviews. And the reason it's so important to undertake really good quality work experience is because it lets the admissions tutors know that you have a realistic insight into what a career in medicine is going to entail and that you are suited and have the qualities that pertain to being a good doctor. But you can have the most amazing opportunity and if you're not reflecting on it and utilising it for all it's worth, it's going to be kind of pointless. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about how to get the most out of your work experience. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So the first way in which I think you can get the most out of your work experience is by making sure that your work experience enables you to interact with people within the profession. So really valuable work experience is ones where you get to talk to all sorts of different healthcare professionals. So being able to talk to doctors and nurses and various other healthcare professionals is really, really invaluable. You know, you can ask them questions like, what do you find rewarding about the job? What do you wish you could change? Or would you do anything differently if you went back? And it just enables you to have a really, really realistic insight into what a career in medicine is really like. One thing that I think is really important when it comes to applying to medical school is that you understand that it's not this glamorous Grey's Anatomy profession that it's often made out to be on TV. You wanna be me but you can't be me, you wanna be me but you can't it can be a really emotionally taxing job, you're working long unsociable hours, and it can be really, really stressful. So being able to talk to healthcare professionals and ask about how they deal with things like the stresses of the profession is really, really useful. So for example, at Medical Projects, we have tons of different work experience. So we have a virtual work experience week, we have a ward round live, a GP live course, and they all enable you to interact with healthcare professionals who are on the job and know exactly what the career entails. And being able to converse with people like this is really really helpful. The next way by which I think you will get the most out of your work experience is by making sure you are reflecting after every single day. What I really recommend you do whilst you're on your work experience is take a notebook and just take notes of anything you see, any interesting patient encounters, any interesting conversations you've had with healthcare professionals or different skills you've learned or even emotions you felt. Write them all down because you will jog your memory when it comes to writing your personal statement and it'll be really really useful when it comes to your interviews as well. I remember when I did my work experience I watched a laparoscopic hysterectomy which is basically where you're taking the entire womb out of a woman and I had no idea what this procedure entailed so I wrote down lots of different things that I saw, different questions I asked and that just enabled me to talk about it at length in my interview because of course by the time you get to your interview so much time will have passed so it's really really useful to have some documentation of what you saw. My next tip for getting the most out of your work experience experience is just to get stuck in. Of course with work experience you're fairly limited with what you can do, especially if you're shadowing on a ward because it's not really legal for you to be doing anything with patients and often it's the case that you're just, you know, standing around and observing and that in itself is still going to offer you some really, really good insight but what I really recommend you do is take any opportunity wherever possible to get your hands dirty and get stuck in. So for example, when I did my work experience, I shadowed some nurses and I got to learn how to plaster cast my own arm and that was just something really interesting interesting that I got to learn. There are some work experience opportunities that will allow you to get stuck in with some clinical skills and learn the practical side of medicine that you wouldn't be able to do anywhere else. And one that I'd like you to be aware of that we offer here is our London Summer School. And we're so excited to reintroduce this because we've not been able to do it because of COVID, but our London Summer School is a week-long residential where you can come to London and you will learn so many different skills. You will have some hospital-based teaching, you'll have some clinical skills sessions, you'll learn 
learn how to do an A to E assessment and you'll just get really, really stuck in hands-on work experience that is really going to make you stand out. If any of this interests you, I will make sure to leave the link in the description box below. Anything where you can just get stuck in and learn the practical side of medicine is going to be invaluable because medicine is all about using your hands and performing skills. So if you're able to do that from work experience, that is already going to put you so far ahead of so many other candidates. The next thing I recommend you do to get the most out of your work experience is to put yourself out there. This can be a really daunting thing to do. I still find it difficult even as a medical student because when you're at the kind of bottom of the food chain, you don't feel like you can speak up and take those opportunities. But for example, if you are shadowing a doctor and you think, you know, this is not really helpful for me, I'm not learning that much, don't be afraid to speak to some nurses or another doctor or a different consultant and ask if you can shadow them. I remember, for example, that I met a consultant on a work experience placement and he mentioned that he was doing a scoliosis corrective surgery and I thought, you know, why not? I'm just gonna ask if I can get stuck in and I asked if I could watch the surgery and then I came back the next day and I got to scrub in for an incredible procedure. And that was something that I spoke about at length in my interview and I spoke about how, you know, I took the initiative to organize that and and because of that, I got to see a really incredible intricate surgery. Another tip I have for getting the most out of your work experience is to make some connections. When you're on your work experience, you are going to be surrounded by healthcare professionals. And it's quite likely that you'll meet a professional within your area of interest. So if that's the case, why don't you reach out to them, ask if there are any further opportunities you could undertake. A lot of the time, these people will be really happy to have you on board. And they're just looking for someone who is showing some enthusiasm and who wants to get stuck in. And finally, the last tip I have for getting the most out of your work experience is to try and speak to patients wherever possible. Again, it can be really daunting if you're on a ward, you don't know anyone, you don't know any of the staff members and they definitely don't know you either. But I recommend making friends with the nurses. The nurses are gonna be your best friends. Ask them if there are any patients that you can speak to. You'll often find on your work experience that a lot of patients are very stressed. If they're in a hospice or a hospital, they're probably going to be feeling extremely vulnerable. And I feel like we often forget about the importance of just listening to someone and listening to their concerns. But unfortunately, when you're a professional on the ward, it is a very busy environment and there isn't a whole lot of time. So something you can do as a volunteer or if you're on a ward during a work experience is go and speak to the patient and hear about what brought them to hospital, hear about what their concerns are and just really lend an ear. In my own work experience, I worked in a palliative care hospice for over a year and one of my main roles was literally just to listen to the patients and you know, try and calm them down, try and offer them some support and do anything I could within my power to make their stay a little bit more comfortable. So those are all my tips for getting the most out of your work experience. I do just want to reiterate that we offer so many different types of work experience here at Medical Projects, both virtually and in person. So the virtual work experience we have is our virtual work experience week. We have a GP live course. We have a ward round live course. And these are all run by professionals within the field and will give you an opportunity to practice some of the key skills that you need in order to be a good doctor. And most excitingly, our London summer school is back. So if that is something you're interested in, do make sure to check the link in the description box because the places will fill up very quickly and trust me it's not going to be a week you want to miss. I'm going to be helping out with the summer school and I for one am super excited so I definitely recommend you guys check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure once again to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!